SMT Nation, what is going on? It's your boy, the SMT. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you for this episode. And to those of you that are new, this is your first time here. Subscribe for more content and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We are at the point where it is now time to truly consider Dish Wireless as a legitimate option as they become the newest uh, edition of the mobile network operators here in the U.S. So they are the new fourth uh, carrier replacing the former Sprint, who was consumed in the T-Mobile and Sprint merger, essentially an acquisition more than anything. But we need a new fourth carrier, and we got it. What can we expect from Dish? What do you need to know as a consumer if you're going to use their network? What type of compatibilities, what type of network bands are going to be using for cellular? So if you're buying a phone, what should you be looking for? So I just, I'm kind of just going to be thinking out loud here. I'm looking at all the potential and our bands they're going to use. So to get things started, some of the things that we can confirm, I think N2, which is the PCS, the 1.9 gigahertz, 100% you're going to want to make sure that your phone has that cellular radio band. Most of the phones that came out last year that are flagship and then this year and then moving forward should have that. Same thing goes for N5, which is the 850 megahertz. Uh, you know, you think about that, it's like the N2 and the N5 important critical parts to the AT&T network, as well as the T-Mobile, all right? So they're going to have N2 eventually. Uh, we know that DISH will be doing an MVNO with T-Mobile as well as AT&T. So those elements are important. The N5, low band 5G for AT&T, <clears throat> excuse me. And then also the fact that they're going to be widening that channel once they shut off uh, the 3G side, the HSPA. So that channel will get wider and, and more robust. I don't know what to say about the N7 yet because that's on the FDD side of things. Um, not really sure if that's going to be important at this time. Maybe kind of put it on the back burner, maybe a few years down the line, something like that. N12 is something you're going to want to have, obviously. 700 megahertz, they have that. And, of course, if AT&T goes N12, that would be important to have too. I can't really comment to the N20, right? That's going to be 800 megahertz. And I don't know what DISH is doing with that. I think they are going to deploy it. So you know, you're going to need that. And who knows if, you know, these older phones have it, which, where does it start? Is it going to be compatible? The N25, that's pretty similar to the N2, that's PCS. The N28 is 700 megahertz. That's going to be a dish thing for sure. That's why I was a little confused about the whole N12 thing. Again, N12 would be AT&T, but the N28, I believe, is going to be dish. N39, I can't really comment to this. This looks like PCS as well. Um, I don't know what to say about that. The N40, I don't know about N40 because WCS is, from what I understand, is N30. So I'm kind of caught off guard by that. Uh, that was surprising there to kind of see it numbered as N40. And then the N41, obviously, with T-Mobile Access, that's their big mid-band 5G band. Let's scroll down a little bit. You got the N66 piece. You'll need that. Most phones have that last year, this year. N70. All right, so that's another one, another AWS band. That'll be unique to DISH. All right, so that'll be there. Also, the N71 piece, 600 megahertz, T-Mobile and Dish. And then I, I don't know about the whole Legato band. I don't I don't know if that's coming to market, if anybody's buying. I couldn't tell you guys. So put that on the on a later, show, you know, we'll see what happens kind of thing. Uh, and then you have the N77, N78, that'll be C-band. And then scrolling down a little bit more, uh, and by the way, you'll need the 77 and 78 because of AT&T access and also T-Mobile. They're going to have C-band. Uh, the 257, 258, 260, 261, those are millimeter wave bands. DISH does have some. AT&T has some. So they'll de be deploying that as well as T-Mobile. So you might want those as well, but that is going to need time to scale and build. But I think that gives you an idea of what they're going to be deploying and what they might deploy. If you know a little bit more about this, I'd love to hear your input. So go ahead and comment down below where you think things are going with some of these bands. Uh, if there's some insight maybe that you have from your research, go ahead and let us know. Appreciate the feedback down in the comment section. You all are the voice of the people of the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Very interested to see what you guys got going on there and what you do know. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. Subscribe for more content. Turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'm the SMT. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.